place value. Today we will be looking at hundred tens and ones. Before we start, let's play a game, how many blocks? I'm going to present a few blocks and give you a certain amount of time to count them. You will only have nine seconds. Go. Mm, now that was a bit hard. Okay, what if we try grouping them in twos? Let's quickly practice counting to 30 in twos. Are you ready? Go! Okay, well done. Now you will only have eight seconds to count the groups in twos. Are you ready? Go! Mm, now that was a bit easier. Can you think of an even bigger number, less than 10, that will enable us to count all the blocks quicker? Let's put the blocks in groups of 5 this time. But let's practice first, counting to 50 in 5s. Ready, set, go! Okay, great. You will have seven seconds to count the groups of five. Ready? Go! Okay, did you notice it's getting easier? Okay, what about an even bigger number? Let's group them in groups of tens. Let's practice counting in tens up to 60. Ready, set, go! Okay, great. Now this time you will have six seconds to count the blocks in tens. Ready? Go. Well done. Did you notice now it's getting easier? The fact is placing blocks in groups of 10 will enable us to count the blocks faster. At the moment, you see the number 10. Let's add three units. How much is it altogether? 13. So we can say 110 plus 3 units equals 13. How many blocks do you see now? 11, right? So we see 110, 1 unit. So 10 plus 1 equals 11. How about now? How many 10s do you see? 2, and that equals 20. How many units? 2. So 20 plus 2 equals 22. Okay, how many tens do you notice now? 3, right? And that equals 30. How many units can you see? 4. So 30 plus 4 equals 34. Well done. Ooh, now here is a, something different. What do you reckon this big block represents? 100, right? And we've got 110. And we've got two units. So 100 plus 10 plus 2 equals 112. Well done. Okay, so we identify or see the amount of blocks and we place them in a certain group. What does one of these big blocks represent again? It represents 100. So we place them in the hundreds group. Let's look at the next few blocks. We have four tens. So let's go ahead and count in tens. 10, 20, 30, 40. Now let's place them in their group. Okay, now we see lots of loose units. We're not going to count in ones. That's going to take a bit long. So let's count in twos. Two, four, six, eight. So we've got eight. Then we've got one at the top. So we can say one plus eight gives us nine. Well done. And we are going to place them in their group. 
Now, let's zoom in for a moment. What if we added one more to these nine units? Look what happens. It becomes a 10. Can we keep it in the ones group? No, we need to send it to the tens group. Okay, but that's not all. Place value goes beyond hundreds. We get thousands, ten thousands, and even hundred thousands, even millions, billions, trillions. Okay, this is an example how it will look like. So we will say one million two hundred and thirty-four thousand five hundred and sixty-seven rand. Okay, let's get back. Twenty-five. How many tens and how many units can you see? Let's look at the number two. What is the value of two? Two tens. What is the value of five? Five ones. So we can say two tens, five ones. Now let's expand this number. Let's break it up. We can say twenty plus five equals twenty-five. So easy. Let's look at the number 43. Okay, what is the value of the four? Four tens. And the value of three? Three ones. So we've got four tens and we've got three ones. 40 plus three equals 43. Well done. Okay, let's look at this big number, 132. Hmm. What is the value of the one? 100. What is the value of three? 30. Three tens. And what is the value of two? Two ones. Let's break it up. We can say 100 plus 30 plus 2 equals 132. Well done. Okay, now get your pencil and paper ready. We are going to do some place value exercises. We are going to look at what is the value of the underlined digit. Another word for digit is number. So we have 35. Only the three is underlined. What is the value of three? Write it down. Okay, and your answer is 30. Okay, let's take a look at the next number. 235. What is the value of the five? Okay, and your answer is... Five. There are only five ones. And your last one for this activity, 304. This time, the three is underlined. What is the value of the three? Great stuff, 300. Okay, I would like you to write H, T and O on your paper. H stands for hundreds, T stands for tens, O stands for ones. Now, I want you to write down the value of each and every digit. So, look at the number 58. Where will you place the 5 and where will you place the 8? What is the value of 5 and what is the value of 8? Let's take a look. 50 and 8. There are 5 tens and there are only 8 ones. Okay, now you are going to try. I'm going to give you the number 15. Now write it down. 
Where will you write the one? Where will you write the five? Well done! There are only one tens and only five ones. There are no hundreds, so we do not have to write down anything underneath hundred. Okay, what about the number 74? What is the value of each digit? Go for it. Great stuff, 74. There are seven tens and there are only four ones. There are no hundreds. Okay, your last and final one for this activity is the number 230. Okay, let's see. We've got 200 plus 30 plus zero. There aren't any units. So we can write zero or we don't even have to write down anything underneath the ones. But well done. Okay, get ready for the last activity. I would like you to expand the following numbers. For example, exactly what you've done just now. The only difference is we are going to add some math symbols too. So 34. 34 equals what? Thirty plus four. That's all I need you to do. Okay, number twenty seven. Expand the number. Well done. It is 20 plus 7. What about 134? Expand this number. Do you have it? Let's see if you are correct. So, how many hundreds, how many tens, and how many units do we have? Let's write them down. We've got 100 plus 30 plus 4. Now for your final number. 205. Expand this number. Okay, this looks a little bit tricky, but it's not really. We've got 200, we've got zero tens, and we have five units. Well done. So 200 plus zero plus five. You did it. So place value. Oh, it is easy peasy.